Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hello, welcome. Thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Kristen and I'm gonna be kind of starting like a new series kind of a series. You know I review a lot of like zero waste or sustainable type products and I am going to try to find the best bamboo toilet paper on the market starting with real toilet paper. So if you guys have any brands that you want me to try let me know. I've been using the Who Gives a Crap Recycled Paper Toilet Paper. I have not tried their bamboo toilet paper, but let me know if you want a review of that. And honestly, I've been using it for about a year. I finally got through the whole box and I'm just not the biggest fan. I feel like I want something softer and I've heard that recycled toilet paper can have BPA in it just because in a lot of paper recycling, there can be plastic that kind of gets mixed in there. So that kind of makes me a little nervous just because it's in your private areas and you don't really want those areas to be absorbing BPA. I'm going to talk about real toilet paper. I'm gonna show you the unboxing right now. So let me show you just like what the packaging looks like. Okay, so disclaimer, I already opened this box. It is a smaller box, which is nice. Um, my Who Gives a Crap box is huge, but if you end up not liking it, you're kind of stuck with that. So at least this is, I think, 24 rolls, which is super nice. And then it comes with this real life-changing paper. And then it says more about what they do. It looks really sleek, really minimal design, which I really do like. It doesn't have to be fancy, it's just toilet paper. That It comes in really, really lightweight paper. Now, the Who Gives a Crap paper is a little bit thicker than this. This is like thin tissue paper type feeling paper, which in my opinion is a good thing. It's using less resources and materials to make this thinner paper than making a thicker paper. So let's get into the actual review of the product itself. This is three ply, it's 300 sheets per roll. So let's open this up, see how soft it is. It's a million times softer than the Who Gives a Crap Recycled Paper. I didn't talk about softness with the last tissue paper. I have an old video if you guys wanna check it out on the recycled paper toilet paper. And I really liked it and I just wanted to find something that was eco-friendly and just better for the planet. But over time, it's just, it's kind of tough on your bum. So this does have like a quilted type texture to it. It's nice and strong feeling, there it goes. But it does feel pretty tough. It is pretty thick and it's a lot softer. I am gonna get a roll of Charmin from my parents' house just to kind of like compare what it feels like. Um, but yeah, let's test it out. Obviously you're not gonna see me testing it out, but I'm gonna tell you what it's like. So let's get right into that. Okay, so I just used it for the first time. It is super soft and there's no pilling. So when you're using it, a lot of the toilet paper I've used and just like the who gives a crap toilet paper I've used, it like gives those little lint pieces and it like pills up. This did not pill, which was wonderful. That is a huge, huge plus in my opinion. And it is pretty soft. I'm gonna keep using it and see what it feels like, how it works, all that jazz, just to like get a good feel for it. But so far, I really, really like it. So, A plus. This is the roll of Charmin, and this is just ridiculously soft. I don't know what they do, but it's it's like too soft in my opinion. It's soft and then it pills like crazy and I hate that. That's like my pet peeve with toilet paper. This is definitely not as soft, but it's softer than like your typical public restroom type toilet paper, if you know what I mean. Like I would say your typical like toilet paper, public restroom toilet paper is gonna be similar to my Who Gives a Crap Recycle toilet paper. This is definitely a little bit softer. It's not crazy soft like Charmin, but I would say it's been a while since I've used Kirkland Signature toilet paper, but I would say it's pretty darn close to the Kirkland Signature to be honest. 
So yeah, let's keep trying it. And I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, so I just tried it again, and same thing, it's still soft, much softer than the recycled paper toilet paper I was using. It's not as soft as Charmin, but there's no like little pilling, and it doesn't like crumble up when I use it, and yeah, I really like it so far. Like it really does the job quite well in my opinion. I have no complaints. Uh, is it the softest thing ever? No, still on the hunt for the softest bamboo toilet paper. Don't know if there's one out there, but this is pretty darn soft for like an eco-friendly toilet paper, so. What I love about this company is that every roll of toilet paper you buy, they actually donate like a biodegradable toilet to people in need who don't have access to toilets. It's just really good to know that your money is going towards a really good brand that actually cares beyond just selling the product to you. And let me just talk about bamboo, using bamboo rather than using your traditional toilet paper like Charmin and Angel Soft and Kirkland Signature brand. 27,000 trees are cut down every day just to make toilet paper to eventually be going down the drain and it's waste. <laughs> like you're using all that paper, you're cutting down trees just to flush down the drain. Now obviously a bidet is the most sustainable thing to use but I am a renter and I don't own a place and it's just easier for me to use toilet paper. Maybe one day I'll try a bidet but for right now, we're sticking to what I've grown up with and that is toilet paper. Bamboo is great because it uses 30% less water and it also emits like 35% more oxygen than like hardwood trees. So it's actually like better for the planet. Bamboo grows super quickly as you guys probably know. So ultimately it's better to use bamboo. Okay, so with these videos that I'm going to start to put out there, I am going to judge four things about the toilet paper. The softness, the toughness, the packaging that it comes in and the price. So first off, let's start with the softness. On a one to five scale, I would rate the softness. Like Charmin is gonna be a five for softness. I would give this like a 3.5 or a four for softness. It's not as soft as Charmin, which I'm okay with because Charmin like flakes and pills and all of that. This toilet paper does not pill. It doesn't give those little lint things you know, it doesn't roll up when you're using it. So that is a huge plus for me. And then for toughness, it's pretty tough. For toughness, I would say again, 3.5 to four. Um, I'd say extra tough is I'm pulling on it and it doesn't rip apart immediately and it's kind of hard, but I don't know if I want that in the toilet paper. So I'm just trying to rate it in a good way. I would give the packaging about a four. It's super basic and minimalistic, which I do love. I love how the actual toilet paper wrapping is really thin and light. And I would give that a four just because it does have the plastic tape around the box, which is kind of a bummer. So, and then the last thing is the price. Price. There is a subscription service and there's also like an option where you can buy it once. I just bought it once because I'm going to be trying a lot of toilet paper and I will be having a lot of toilet paper for a while. So the price is $29.99 if you're buying it once and that is for a pack of 24. The subscription service is $19.99 so you are saving $10. You can renew it every like 12 weeks, eight weeks, four weeks. I think those are the options online. It's pretty comparable in pricing to the Who Gives a Crap bamboo toilet paper, to be honest. Okay, so I am also going to do like a jar test to see how biodegradable this stuff is. I've tried it with some other toilet papers before, but it's just gonna see how quickly this breaks down, if it breaks down immediately when I shake it in a jar. If not, we're gonna find out. Two sheets, two sheets in here. So we're gonna pop it in and then we're gonna shake it up and we're gonna see how quickly this um, kind of breaks down. It should break down pretty quickly because it is bamboo and you want it to break down pretty quickly. So. Da -da -da. And it breaks down very well. You see that? 
that's awesome. Yeah, it breaks down really quickly, so it should work in kind of non-traditional toilet systems, like composting toilets and RV toilets, septic systems, stuff like that. So would I recommend this toilet paper? Yes, I think their brand is great, what they're doing. Yeah, I would recommend them. I think they're awesome. If you guys wanna check out more of my toilet paper reviews, I will have a video at the end comparing all of them together to let you know what my final thoughts are. And just remember, you do not have to be perfect to live sustainably. I will see you guys next time. Bye.